It's a choice that takes just a few seconds, but can destroy so many. Every time I hear a story, especially, <clears throat> especially local, it just rips my heart out. This group knows the heartache all too well. Different families drawn together because of drunk driving. David and Don Vasquez. He was a um, super kid. I call him a kid, but he was 23. 23 and six days old. Their son, Sean, died in 2020. They say a drunk driver hit him while he was on a construction site near Indianapolis. If you, if you knew him, you, you really did like him because he was just that kind of kid. Listening to them, Georgia Heyer from Beagle County. She has a story of her own to tell. Our family was asleep and a lady that was drinking and on drugs crashed into our house. Mm -hmm. uh, my three-year-old went like 40 feet out the window. Um, we found her outside like three minutes after everything happened. Thankfully, everyone survived, but the trauma continues. They're shocking stories. But according to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, they happen more than 9,000 times a year. However, new legislation may fix that. President Biden recently signed into law a $1 trillion infrastructure package. In it, there's a portion that requires advanced drunk and impaired driving prevention technology for passenger vehicles. We checked to see what exactly that looks like. Mothers Against Drunk Driving says some manufacturers already have concept cars in the works that would do it. If you're not drinking and driving, you don't have anything to worry about. This technology is not going to affect you. Things like alcohol odor sensors and facial monitoring on star to call if the car senses reckless driving. The Associated Press says we could see them hit the roads as early as 2026. And it's not a moment too soon for these families. 10,000 lives a year, you know, it's... Our, our son could still be here. Um, other victims, their, their loved ones um, crashing into houses, you know, all that stuff can just go away. They know nothing will take away the pain they face every day. They just hope it'll change the future for others. It, it's, a, it's a heartache every single day to wake up and expect to see your son in his bed and he's not there. Putting drunk drivers in park, keeping their loved ones always in view. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta and Jaron West, Rondrell Moore, News 10.